friends welcome to my channel this is karen and thank you so much for clicking on that button um i hope everyone's having a good day or evening and today i am bringing a requested video a requested yes video actually from um, a lovely subscriber who had seen my i had done a video um this was a few months ago on um, my entire bible collection and um there was a question if i i had shown this bible um this and the question was if i had done a review on this bible and i didn't i hadn't i was just showing it so i'm so sorry i meant to get this uploaded earlier but um this is just going to be a review of this um bible um i did i tried to find the box but i don't have it but I'm just going to, you know, go into detail and let you know where you can purchase it. And then you can see all, you know, more detailed information. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right in. So this is an NIV super giant print Bible. Um, it, I got mine in pink because I love pink. And if you see, see my Bible collection, I have a lot of Bibles in pink. But... On this particular one, this is just, I had just put these stickers, mostly um, this, you know, floral stickers. This one in the very middle is from, it was a Dollar Tree sticker. And it says, don't lose hope. You need, I mean, sorry, you never know what tomorrow may bring. So I had just put that on the front. So I would say, let's see. It's a fairly large Bible. I mean, it's not a Bible, you know, I would say you would, you know, particularly maybe, you know, carry to church or anything. It depends. I mean, it's not, it's not that heavy, but, you know, if you want to put it in your purse or bag, I guess that's fine. So this is like a leather, like soft bound kind of feel. Um, I like how it has the floral design on the one top, on the one half up here, and then it's smooth. And then as you can see on the side, I'm sorry, you can see it. So it just says um, Holy Bible, NIV, and that's Zondervan. And then on the back, it just says Leather Soft, and that's it. And you can see right here, it is where, oops, where the, stitch, the stitching is. Okay, so then we open it up to the very first page and it has the present to page. I put my name, I put the date. So this is two years old almost. I got this December the 9th, 2018. It has a scripture. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. That is from Psalm, oh, I'm sorry, that is from Psalm 119, verse 105. I find a lot of Bibles have that in their beginning page. So as we open it up, and the pages are, they're, you know, typical, like, Bible page. <laughs> Not too thin. We open it up until the, let's see. So it says right here, it is a oh, small print, but it's the NIV Supergiant Print Reference Bible. Um, this is not a, this is not one of my study Bibles. It's a reference Bible. Okay, so we have here. The table of contents um now what i liked about this bible it is super giant i have giant i have super giant um this is a 16.5 font so it is huge which um if anyone um i have some vision issues due to um, a health condition that i deal with so i like to get not all my bibles but i prefer bibles to be large print all of them are large print giant print or this one like is a super giant print i like you know that font it's very easy to read what they call a comfort type of reading and this is basically um i would say it's basically a you know a simplified bible it's because it's not like i said a study bible then it has your preference pre preface <laughs> preface sorry preface that just gives you information the old testament now this doesn't have your you know any type of like you know sometimes it has the 
with the Old Testament or may give you like a short synopsis of the book of the Bible. It goes straight into Genesis. Um, it is two columns and it does have after, you know, you you do have your reference verses though. Like after your paragraph, you can, it does show you like after the very first paragraph, it has John 1, 1 to 2 and Isaiah 45. So you can then, you know, it does give you that information. And then as you can see, like you don't, I have my, I actually have my, um, readers on and really but they're not even really necessary um and then right down here also you have your like a foot footnotes so it will give you like little information about the verse or um other you know information or word meaning word meanings about some of the verses that you have read so that's good like I said, it's not a study Bible, like, you know, with they say a commentary or anything. It's strictly a reference type of Bible. Um, the other thing is, you know, it is, it doesn't have a, um, I noticed it didn't have a, a uh, ribbon. It doesn't have a ribbon marker. Um, for me, um, I mean, I have Bibles with ribbon markers, so it was fine. If anything, you need to use a page flag or, you know, bookmark to mark your pages. Um, the other thing is it is a red letter edition. So that is a good thing. I do like the red letter edition. The Jesus words in red. I do pre prefer that. Um, some Bibles I have don't have it, and but most of mine do. I just, you know, I do like to see the words of Jesus written in red, which this one does have. So you can see, and it's, and it's pretty clear, I would say, um, the pages are pretty clear. I would say it doesn't really, you can't really see through, it's not that thin where you could see through like to the other page, so that's good. So let's see. Besides that, it's pretty straightforward. You know, you're, you know, we're at the end. So let me see, just, I'm just gonna go into after what it has after the book of Revelation. And after the book of Revelation. So it has right here, table of weights and measures. Um, I guess this is something where you can look up where the what words they used back in that day and what it equals to the measurements in our time the american the biblical unit right here approximate american equivalent and then the approximate metric equivalent so yeah that's helpful information um this one has a dictionary and it has a concordance so that's a good thing so let's see, the first is, it looks like, oh, okay, it's um, the dictionary and the concordance together. And let's see, I believe that is, so basically it's, say you want to look up Nathan, say who was Nathan. And it shows you the prophet of God who exposed David's sin. I just lost my place. Oh, with Bathsheba, causing David to repent. And then it gives you the scripture verse. So that's good that, you know, some of the people, some of the names, Sabbath, what does that mean? Stone. And pretty basic. Your NIV dictionary concordance. That is the last page. It's pink. And again, like I showed you in the back, this is it. So that's about it. Um, like I said, I do like this and I'm in the process of, I do some Bible journaling. I'm getting into that. So that's why I'm, had come, you know, starting with this one. 
but I will leave where I most of my Bibles. Um, let's see, this one I I know I definitely got from Amazon, so I will leave the exact link to this Bible where I purchased it. If you are interested in it, I would say it was definitely under forty dollars. So, um, I do enjoy it. Like I said, and it's especially good if you do have. You know, maybe an older person or someone with vision issues, or you just want a Bible to, you know, that you don't have to. I mean, some of them are, you know, tiny print, but for me, like I said, that's an issue. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for listening and looking for that review. Um, for the, <laughs> thank you for listening to this review, and I'll hope you all having a great day. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a very, very blessed day or evening. And I will see you very soon in my next upload. Bye, everyone.